Hey, how's everyone doing? Uh, this is fun. I love doing shows in Brooklyn because I grew up in Brooklyn. So, and, not this part. This shit is safe. Um, where I grew up, super dangerous. Still dangerous. See weird shit all the time. Like I saw a police chase the other day. I was just in front of my apartment building, minding my business, smoking a joint, playing some rap music, drinking kombucha, trying to improve the property value of the neighborhood. And, and I saw this really fast black dude. He was just running from these two older, slower, out of shape police officers. And you could tell the cops were getting frustrated because one of the cops just stopped running and he yelled out, hey man, come on man, please man, please man. And the, the black dude just yelled back, nah, man, I'm good, and he kept running. I was like, kombucha ain't saving this fucking neighborhood, all right? It's not, it's dangerous, but it was the best weed I've ever had, so it was a good day. No one got shot accidentally 99 times. I went upstairs, I played PlayStation, I jerked off. It was a good fucking day, so it was good. It was a dope year, 2017. I want to find love. You guys in love? Any of you guys? No? Yeah? Word. You in love? That's what's up. I, that's what's up. That's dope. I watch a lot of viral videos on YouTube, so I'm a little skeptical on love right now. <laughs> I watched this one love story. It took place in Australia, right? It's an Australian love story. I'll give you a summary. So this kangaroo happened to have a dog in a headlock, right? <laughs> you, you seen this? All right, so you do a lot of drugs. That's what's up, fam. All right. <laughs> For those of you who haven't seen, I'll give you the rest of the story. So this kangaroo had a dog in a headlock. Dog's owner freaked out, ran up to the kangaroo. Kangaroo dropped the dog, and then the dog's owner punched the kangaroo in the face. That's fucking love. It's love. Because if a man's willing to punch a wild kangaroo in the face to save his fucking dog, that's love. And I'll never be capable of that type of love. For example, if a kangaroo had my grandmother in a headlock, and was like, yo, I got your old grandmother in a headlock. If you wanna see it, just give me $50 and some ginger ale. I do it, cause that's my grandmother, but I really feel like in America, we not supposed to negotiate with kangaroos. Am I right? Thank you. I got, called an, I got called a racist for telling that joke. I was doing a show in an Australian lady. She said, yeah, you're a fucking racist. She said, you singled out kangaroos. You're a black man who's racist, and I'm disgusted at you. I hate you. I want a refund at this fucking show, you racist. And that hurt. That hurt. It hurt. Because I'm not racist. But I did tell her she needs to go back to Australia. And I said it in my best go back to Africa voice. I didn't know. I was, nervous. Plus, I didn't tell that joke racist at all. That's the same way I told the joke. Was that racist? Was it racist? No, not at all. I didn't tell the joke like, yeah, look at that beautiful lily white dog with his beautiful white eyes and he just happened to be in the wrong forest at the wrong time and then this demon kangaroo came out of nowhere with his jail-like muscles and, and I'm sure he had marijuana in his system. They all do and I didn't, that, I, I didn't say that. That's racist. I just told the joke from a nigga who got high and watched a YouTube clip. Like, that's... What? Don't get sensitive. That's what I did. I got high and I watched a YouTube video. That's how life works. Did you watch that? No? Oh, you gotta watch. You're not living, girl. You're not living at all. You're not living at all. Oh, my God. It was fucking... It's everywhere, man. It's everywhere. It makes me rethink relationships. Because like, I was in a serious relationship for a while, and my ex-girl, she broke up with me. I don't know why. Maybe because at the time, she had two jobs, and I had zero jobs, and... <laughs> it's not a healthy balance of jobs and shit. I lived with her rent-free, and I learned a valuable lesson about living with a woman rent-free. Uh, she'll never respect you at all. <laughs> Serious? No, that's some, that's some real shit. No, I'm serious. It's a perfect example of how I knew she, she didn't respect me. One Friday night at 6.30, she came home from work. She's like, Lawrence, I don't really feel well. My period's coming. Shut everything down right now at 6.30, and we're going to bed. And I just looked at her, and I was like, yo, Kathy, there's no way I'm going to bed at 6.30, all right? I just woke up at 4.30. two hours, man. 